heartbreaking, at least four shot dead, multiple injured massive manhunt underway in the state. Nashville, Tennessee. Four people were killed and several others were wounded when a gunman opened fire in a Waffle House restaurant. Police have launched a massive manhunt for the shooter, Travis Ronking, 29, who began shooting at customers around 3.30 a.m. Sunday at the Waffle House in Antioch, located about 16 miles southeast of downtown Nashville, before fleeing the scene, Metro Nashville police said. Apparently the gunman was wearing just a jacket during the attack and ditched it as he fled the scene. If you see a nude guy walking around this morning call the police department, Don Aaron of the Metro Nashville Police Department told WTVF. Aaron said Ranking shot and killed two people outside the restaurant with a rifle before entering the building and gunning down customers, killing at least one person. Another individual died at the hospital. Investigation ongoing at the Waffle House. Scene being processed by MNPD experts. This is the rifle used by the gunman. Waffle House, six persons shot, four fatally, three died at the scene, one at the hospital. The two others are being treated at Vanderbilt. Search continuing for Travis Ronking. Fox News reports that Aaron said some people at the restaurant had visible cuts on their faces due to flying glass when shots were fired. The people inside the restaurant were very very shaken. They were in tears, Aaron said. Some of the folks who didn't have to be transported, to the hospital, had glass wounds on their faces. Fox 17 reported that Aaron said some people at the restaurant had visible cuts on their faces due to flying glass when shots were fired. The people inside the restaurant were very very shaken. They were in tears, Aaron said. Some of the folks who didn't have to be transported, to the hospital, had glass wounds on their faces. Chuck Cardero told WTVF he saw the gunman pull up to the restaurant in a pickup truck and began shooting. Cardero, who is a regular customer and friends with the employees at the Waffle House, said he was waiting outside because the restaurant was busy and he was waiting for the booth he usually sits in to clear out. A 29-year-old patron attempting to flee the gunfire saw the shooter struggling with the rifle at one point. The man charged at the shooter, wrestled the weapon away and tossed it over the restaurant's counter. He is the hero here and no doubt he saved many lives by wrestling the gun away, Aaron said. Cordero said he also saw a man who jumped in as the gunman was reloading the rifle. There's a gentleman who was in there that when the guy stopped to reload his gun he jumped him, Cordero recalled. Had that guy reloaded, there was plenty of people in that restaurant that would not have made it home this morning. Authorities identified drunking as the suspect after finding the vehicle allegedly used by the gunman was registered in that name. Aaron said officials are still gathering information on Ronking but found that the alleged gunman's license goes back to Illinois. Nashville police checked with authorities in Illinois who said Ranking has a history with firearms in that state. The motive of the deadly shooting or why Ranking was in Nashville is still unclear. It's now being reported that Leo and SWAT has the suspect's apartment surrounded. Nashville Mayor David Brilly and Tennessee Representative Jim Cooper each issued statements in the wake of the shooting. Really called it a tragic day for the city. It's a tragic day for our city anytime people lose their lives at the hands of a gunman. My heart goes out to the families and friends of every person who was killed or wounded in this morning's shooting. I know all of their lives will be forever changed by this devastating crime. There's clearly more to be said about these circumstances, but for now I ask Nashville to pray for and rally around these victims and join me in thanking the Metro Nashville Police Department as it works to find and apprehend the shooter. Tennessee Rep. Jim Cooper's statement called for more gun control so we won't include it in the article. This is a developing story. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved. When involved.